we pray for the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and in this last part, this last essential step, the wisdom to know the difference. Our ability to be effective with changes that we want to make relies on our relationship with spirit, our relationship with this internal guidance system. We might call it, in spiritual terms, GPS, standing for God's positioning system. So that positioning system puts us in the right place at the right time, and if we're tuned in, we'll know that, right? That we are in the right place at the right time, and we'll trust that the right actions will move through us. And, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I make a wrong turn <laughs> and I get rerouted. You ever do that? <laughs> In the, the actual car with the global positioning system, the GPS, that system. But it's the same, isn't it, in our spiritual walk, in our lives. Sometimes we might make a wrong turn or a turn that wasn't necessarily in our fullest and highest alignment with the divine. But then guess what? The system just reroutes. And maybe, I always think sometimes if it happens in the car that maybe we were rerouted around an accident or something else. So maybe that rerouting was exactly the path we were supposed to take. Again, it comes down to this sense of trust. So do you know how to use that GPS, that internal GPS system for yourself? It's important to keep honing and practicing how we tune into that and utilize it for our best and highest good. For me, I, I really you know, tune into my body and, and mostly around the solar plexus area. I can feel a sense of like ah or awe or openness and, and that it feels to me like yes, go forward. <laughs> or a tightness that might constriction that might be fear and it might be no. So you got to kind of explore there and see. For you, there might be a, a slightly different way or maybe a completely different way that you tune into your own guidance system. Whatever it is, I encourage you to practice, you know, practice on mundane things like throughout your day, just seeing, oh, is that, what do I want to eat? Instead of looking in the refrigerator and standing there, you know, ask your body, Tune in. What does my body want right now? What would be the most, you know, best fuel for me right now? What would taste really good to me right now? You know, those kinds of, that, that trusting of, you know, holding, holding something and asking your body, for example. Those kinds of simple things. I mean, we eat three times a day, so why not use that as one of our, our ways of, of tuning into our, our guidance system? But whatever it is that you do to hone it, just keep practicing, keep practicing. Uh, an old uh, Unity, he's not old, but <laughs> uh, way back when I took some Unity courses at Unity of Chicago, um, this teacher talked about how his guidance system worked like a traffic light. And he would get a red light for stop, <laughs> a green light for go, obviously, but a yellow light for slow. So that slow brings us back into that serenity and acceptance to allow ourselves to move in divine timing, in divine order. It's all part of this package of gaining greater wisdom.